Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my room makeover. This is part one where I've painted my room grey from white. I'm just going to show you guys the whole process because the walls were very dirty from anointing oil, from people touching it, from nails and pins. Um, I also had some wall mirrors up but I took that down so that needed to get covered up. Um, the walls just didn't make me feel good. Like I would look at the room and I'd be like I feel really messy because the walls weren't clean and it was very important for me to try to fix that and so I can have an environment that I feel comfortable and cozy in and so I chose Manhattan Grey to paint my room in and I've been loving sleeping in here lately even more it's really nice it's really cozy yeah we're just gonna get into the video it's literally just me cleaning up the room and trying to attempting to paint so yeah let's get into that So as you can see, I was terrible at painting on the first day. Um, I was painting with a paintbrush for the doorway entrance and um, my hand started to hurt after because it was just not right. I should have been using the roller, but I couldn't find the handle and my brother wasn't home and I was just like, I don't know where the roller is and I was being impatient. I should have just waited. But yeah, I ended up just doing that doorway wall and then the first wall, the first coat, um, it looked bad, like I looked like, like I didn't know what I was doing and it's true, I did not know what I was doing. But I got better and eventually I finished and so, you know, I did what I can to cover up as much of the stains as possible. And yeah, I'm really proud of myself that I painted a whole room by myself. Um, yeah. So yeah, let's have a look at the before and after. So far, this is the current setup of my room. Um, I've got my desk in front of my bed because my chair is really uncomfortable. Um, it's just really one of those cheap, affordable ones because I got it because, you know, just to be able to pack up and have it move about really easily, it's good for that. However, it's very uncomfortable. And so I've now put my desk in front of my bed because sometimes I might just want to sit on my bed and then work from there and I, I like that it's a little bit more comfortable it's a little bit more convenient but at the same time I don't always stay in bed and do that 
but when I do just want you know softer cushion I would do that the other thing I have in my room at the moment is the clothing rack and the bookshelf that I use to put some books some skincare stuff and um yeah that's kind of a mess I need to fix that and I'm trying to get some organizer trays and things like that for my skincare and hopefully I will um organize that better because it's also quite messy there um I've got my floating walls I don't know what to put on those yet either so I'm still trying to think about that and yeah so those are the only things that are in my room at the moment all my other stuff is in the closet outside and I'm gonna slowly try bringing things in but I'm also trying to get rid of stuff because I don't want to clutter up the room again I actually like having a lot of space and just having it feel so free and fresh and easy breezy and stuff like that so things are going to go under the bed i've ordered some storage for under the bed and i'm going to see how that turns out and then we'll see what else i need i need to order a new chair i need to order curtains um comment down below what color my chair should be because i think the chair should match the curtains it's either going to be dark gray curtains or white curtains and so therefore the chair is either going to be dark gray or white um I was going to go with the black chair but then I need something to match my curtains because my current curtains are purple and nothing in the room really matches that so I need something to match. Ah yes, another thing is I need um, just better storage for the clothing rack as well because the clothes are too full, there's something like three clothes and stuff on each hanger and I don't really like that so I want to declutter that as well. Um, I need a new trash can, um, I need a new laundry bin, and a rug and some plots, and I think that's it. So that's what I'm looking into getting now. Um, so yeah, give me a suggestion for what to do with the room, where I should put stuff, if I should move things around, um, if I should hang up more floating walls. Okay, I'm just thinking if there's anything else I've forgotten. No, but yeah, that's it. Um, let me just show you the the space out there and then you'll see what I'm working with and what I have left to do. That is what I need to do for next time, organize that stuff and buy some new stuff. If you want to see more of this room makeover, remember to subscribe because I will be posting part two very soon. Yeah, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.